Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Will Later Mali which was released just few days ago along with that we'll be testing out games like GTA 4 on my Mali GPU Android device which is the Redmi K50i the device that I'll be using in today's video will have a Mali G610 GPU along with that only 5.4 GB of RAM out of which only 1.7 GB is actually available so here on the official GitHub page of Will Later Mali you'll be able to see the version 1.9 update was released recently and you'll be able to see that P root builds are now based on win later 8.0 which means that more compatibility has been added and GL version has been now changed to 2.1 default which is very useful along with that few internal changes have been made such as default GPU model in P root build is set to Nvidia 9800 GT along with that box 64 version has been imported with new wine D3D versions some game presets have been updated along with that glipsy version has been removed as win later 8.0 currently doesn't have any glipsy version anyways I have already added this this brand new version of WinLater Mali on my Android device, I'll just go and open it and tap on the allow button, wait for the system files to be configured. After that, we'll tap on the container settings and go to the box 64 version, choose the latest 0.3.0 as it is from the official WinLater 8.0. Along with that, we'll set the performance preset in terms of box 64 preset. Afterwards, we'll just go ahead and create our new container. Screen size, make sure to set it to 800 by 600. Afterwards, the graphics driver will be auto selected. And in terms of OpenGL version, it will be 2.1 as default and make sure to keep it at this setting. So your games work properly. In terms of DX wrapper, it will be Wine D3D, which is auto selected. And in terms of audio driver, we'll go with with pulse audio. Once that has been done, make sure to set the video memory size as 2GB, not 4GB. GPU name, you can set it as default NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GT. But in today's video, I'll go with Intel UHD Graphics 620. Once that has been done, we'll go to the advanced setting. And here, make sure to set the Windows version as Windows 7 strictly. Make sure to enable all the processor affinities and afterwards, startup selection set it to aggressive. Afterwards, in environmental variables, make sure that Wine eSync is enabled. Now, once we apply all of these best settings, we'll need to simply tap on the enter button and create our WinLater Mali GPU container. Afterwards, we'll simply tap on the play button to start our new container. Once our container has started, we can toggle full screen and as we'll be able to see, WinLater Mali version has successfully started. Now, first thing which I'll do is tap on the start option and make sure to go to this first folder where we have an option to add all the recommended files which is very important. This will make sure that the games actually work properly inside the WinLater Mali and this is a very necessary setup so make sure to complete this setup before you test out any games inside the WinLater Mali version. Also this process may take some time so just wait patiently until it's completed. After the VC Redis setup is completed make sure to tap on this button and then tap on next to start setting up Nvidia physics. This is also very important if you want to run DirectX 9 games on your low-end MediaTek processor Android device. This entire process took me about 2 minutes for its completion. Once the process has been completed tap on the OK button. Afterwards we'll go to the start section and and make sure to go to 3D test. Afterwards tap on GPU test to see if 3D stuff are being rendered properly in WinLater Mali. Here you can simply choose the test of your choice. So let's just go ahead and choose a simple test such as plot 3D afterwards tap on run benchmark. Now this is very important step as we'll be able to see our benchmark is loading and at the top left corner we get an FPS bar. So here we go as you guys can see 3D stuff is actually being rendered in WinLater Mali which means that this simulator is working properly and is rendering graphics without any issues. This is a very important test make sure that your graphics are being rendered before you test out any other games in WinLater Mali. Now once that has been done let's move on towards testing GTA 4 inside the WinLater Mali emulator. I'll just go ahead and double tap on the game and wait until it has started and in task manager you will be able to see that our game is successfully starting till then we'll just go ahead and open input controls and use virtual gamepad as input controls and finally as you guys will be able to see gta 4 has successfully started on my mali gpu android device in the previous testing of win later mali for some reason i was just getting black screen while trying out this game Whereas now, you will be able to see GTA 4 is working on my Android device with proper graphical output. Now I will be posting a dedicated gameplay test video testing out this game on this Mali GPU Android device pretty soon. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification. Like if you just go ahead and open task manager, you will be able to see about 70% of the CPU is being used and about 77% of the memory is used and it's not really consuming that much memory which means that there are good chances that this game should be playable on your low end android device and here we go guys starting a new game so here's the moment of truth will the game work on my low end android device or not 
and if it will work i think i forgot to enable this show fps option i'll just go ahead and skip the cutscene by pressing the a button and as you guys can see the game has actually started but for some reason i am seeing an black screen now this can be fixed as i mentioned before if you change the back buffer mode but you will be able to notice that the game is actually working so don't worry guys i'll be uploading a dedicated gameplay test of me playing this game on this android device pretty soon so hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out